Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'll show you how to make a simple mini map for your game and uh, what you will need is uh, three sprites or images as I have here a white circle uh, an icon for your player and then a border uh, you can of course use your own sprites um, <clears throat> but if you want to use the same as I do you can go to my uh, webpage gameassetworld.com and under 2D sprites you will be able to download for free the minimap icons that I'm using here I have a ton of uh, other sprites and 3D models and uh, of course you can find all my tutorials in here as well yep <clears throat> let's get to it So first of all, under your player, let's create um, a new camera. And this camera we can call a minimap camera. If you see over here, <clears throat> right now it's placed in the center of your player. Let's pull it up. You can see here in the camera view or over here in the game view how the what the camera sees. And now turn the, uh, sorry, not the y axis, the x axis to 90 degrees. Oh, sorry, it's not 900, 90 degrees. So you see your player from the top. And then just start pull it up like this. We will adjust this later. <clears throat> now let's create a um, render texture. This one uh, is the one that are controlling uh, your minimap. So on your minimap camera, let's drag in this render texture on here. So now when you see your camera here, you can see the square and you can see. So everything that this camera sees goes to this image. So now let's create a UI image and this one we will call, um, let's see, let's call this one uh, uh, mask circle. Under your canvas again, create an empty object and this one we will call minimap. Now drag the the mask circle under the minimap just so we have it uh, nicely organized under the mask circle mm, let's see yeah let's go into 2d mode here first now if you uh, take your um, icon up here and uh, hold down the alt key and take this one up to the right uh, sorry, uh, Alt and then the Shift button and take this up, this one up here. Then you will log it to this corner. Now take your minimap and do the same. Oh, sorry, I was not pressing the minimap like this. And take it up here. And now let's position it. Let's say minus 20, minus 20, something like this will be a good spot for, for my screen resolution. The mask uh, circle here, you'll have to take, uh, in my case, it's a round minimap. If you have a square minimap, you of course need to use a square. Drag it in here. Now underneath uh, the mask circle here, let's create a UI raw image. This raw image will need the render texture. So as you see here now, you have your, uh, um, yeah, the camera up here. So on the mask circle, we will need to add a mask like this. And this will do that this raw image 
will only be shown inside this mask circle. So if you had a square here, it will be shown as a square. And again, if you have a round circle as we do here, it will be round like this. So now go to the minimap, right click and add another UI image. This one we will call border. Drag in your border. And now if we hit the play button, let me see. We have the player, it's following the player. Yes, I think if we hit play now, it should actually work. So yeah, you can see it's very small as you see here. And you can see uh, this little red box that's shown up here as well. This could be an enemy or something like that. If you want a speci specific icon for your player, we can do that as well. Simply just take your minimap, right click, make a UI image. Call this the player icon. Drag in your player icon. Uh, yeah, uh, sprite image. And as you see, this is uh, quite too big. Let's make it 10 by 10. Or maybe 15. I'll say 10 by 12. In my case. So now hit the play one. You can see we now have a image for our player. If you want this to be, um, so you can see a larger area, simply just go into your player, take the minimap camera you have here, and then the field of view, just drag it up or down, depending on how much you want to see. So if you go up here, you can see, you can see the enemy in a lot, much far distance. If you do it like this, if you see here, so now you can see it up here. Yeah, that's how you are controlling that. Yeah, that was uh, everything I would uh, show in uh, this video. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, if you want to see more videos from me, please uh, hit the like and subscribe button below. See you next time.